So good evening to all. Hope you're doing great. So in this video, we'll be discussing about Brightcom Group share. So we know that few weeks back we have discussed about this particular stock. So I've done a dedicated video related to the complete fundamentals followed by the technicals near the eight rupees region. So on that particular day also the stock was trading normally. So after that we have seen some continuous momentum in the stock. And now after crossing the fourteen rupees level, we know little profit booking was seen. But again today, that is since last two days again it has started retracing from that particular levels. So many people had questions related to what would be the best level for fresh entry and what would be the targets in short term followed by long term. So all these things we'll try to discuss. So before that, if you are new to the channel, then definitely subscribe the channel and also press the bell icon to get instantly notified and do join the Telegram group so that you'll not miss any instant updates. Okay, so moving further towards the various updates related to Brightcom Group. So starting from the four rupees level, so where first we have discussed about BCG. So that time clearly I've mentioned if you are investing at that point of time, so whatever the amount you are investing, you need to leave it, especially in this type of stock because the business of the company was very good. But due to various regions, we know stock has corrected, and we know the book value mainly it is very good for the company, and financials also little bit are improving. So that is what I told during. that period of time so after that the company has also generated good volume because if we see its peer competitors whether it may be any it company we know subex also a long period long back of time it used to trade in that particular region itself but nowadays you can see it has gone even above 60 rupees region so demand is present for it sector especially this company is mainly focused towards digital marketing which is the next generation and since it is little bit of weak in financial so it was completely neglected and mainly due to the operator activity so many people are not able to trust this particular company but nowadays we are seeing good increase in volume deliveries are also increasing so will it continue that trend and all so that also we will discuss so moving to the updates you can see it has issued two notices so first notice we know related to the postal ballot second one is mainly due to the board meeting which is scheduled on june 28 of 2021 so those particular dates are also going to be very very important okay so if we see day to day wise deliveries in brightcom group so you can see on 15 june we have seen 4.7% positive movement so after the two days correction you can see in this particular range many people expected that continuous downfall would be present no but from basic medium levels it has again started retracing and deliveries are also pretty good 56% is a very good range and we know stock is also little volatile nowadays high fluctuations are present mainly because of the market condition so don't worry about that and you can see 56% is very good and earlier also it used to maintain in that particular range itself so today also it has given the upper circuit so we'll now we'll go to technical charts and we'll see what are the levels that we need to focus whether it may be for fresh entry or if you have taken at the low levels Okay, so now we are back onto the technical charts, and you can see this is the one-week chart of Brightcom Group, and you can see this is the pivot, okay, region where the stock is facing the resistance. So today again, it has closed above that particular region. So once it is closing in that particular range itself, definitely it will be above that zone. So in the coming sessions also, we need to focus this particular level, especially the thirteen point five zero rupees level. So keep that particular level into radar, and another. More most important thing that i am finding in technical charts you can see both the 200 day as well as 50 day exponential moving average are trying to come closer to each other so what happens when they come closer we know a crossover would be generated so when crossover generates you know a bullish momentum would be seen so whatever i discussed in tata power also same today also it has given that particular momentum from the levels so if that thing also happens in brightcom group if it happens then definitely it will show some positive momentum so keep this two things in radar so one is the moving averages are coming to closer to each other and second one is on weekly time frame it is present near its pivot resistance so if these two things satisfy it is a very good confirmation for buying side and in the same way if we see the money flow index on weekly time frame it is still in 59 region in mid range so still momentum may be seen basically 90 and above is overbought region so it has not not reached that zone so still momentum may be possible 
Okay, so whenever we discuss about any penny stock, basically discuss very few. So we know last time when you discussed about penny stock, that was Nysa Corp. So that also we have discussed when it was in the lower circuit region. So when it was taking support in the 50-day exponential moving average, so that was the penny stock that I was discussed. That also is performing very well. So from four rupees currently it has reached seven rupees. I guess please check out that. So that also is performing very well. So moving on to Brightcom Group in daily time frame, you can see this was the region from where stock has corrected a little bit again now it is trying to hit that same level where it has corrected if it breaks that definitely it will start its new journey so these things you need to focus so once you're invested at low levels so if you are having very good quantity, if you want to book the profit, you can. But if you are waiting for long term, if it gives any uh, good financials, definitely the stock also will perform. I may suggest you to hold this particular stock. We can't judge at any point of time which stock will shoot up. So on the safe side, if you want, book partial profit and rest of all, you can hold it for long term. So this would be my suggestion. And same way in daily time frame, if you see the money flow index, so that is near 60 region and volumes are also increasing on a very good basis. So focus all these things and coming to fresh entry, if you want to have it, you can focus the 13 rupees region for any fresh entry. But tomorrow also, if we find any opening of the circuit, because nowadays it is opening, so earlier it used not used to open so if it opens you can buy in decent quantity and focus the two things that I have showed on weekly time frame so first observe the crossover second one closing above the weekly pivot resistance so if these two things happen so as usual you can hold it so further if you're having any doubts you can message me in the comment section and also you can connect with me in Instagram Instagram ID is stocks so until then stay safe take care bye bye